let us start with another kind of machine that is called as post machine in case of post machine instead of using uh, external stack memory for remembering the things we are going to use the queue now the queue which is used over here is the tape on which we have put the input symbols on that tape only we are going to write the uh, contents and that will work as a queue for us so the major difference between push down automata and post machine is push down automata uses stacks to as a memory and post machine uses queue as a memory so if you look at the input tape suppose the contents of that input tape are a a a triple a then triple b and this hash this hash indicates end of the string and after that what we are going to have the blanks so uh, the so tape that is input tape which we are using uh, on this tape on one side the tape is bounded we cannot have any character over here but on the another side the tape is infinite length unbounded tape <clears throat> so we are going to use these blank symbols to form the queue so what we will be doing is when we want to add the queue we will be adding symbols over here and then we will read this symbol and if we want to add something we can ahead read ahead so with an example this uh, uh, how uh, the, the working of the queue will be clear to you all but uh, just uh, right now understand that instead of using stack we will be using the queue and the capability of post machine is same as that of the turing machine and it is uh, it uh, the powers of post machine are more than the pd and the uh, finite automata so we can say that if dfa is subset then pda is superset of it and post machine is superset of it we can represent it in this way so what the symbols that we use in case of post machine are start symbol to start the machine then we have except this is the final state that we are going to have and we can have the reject as a state then we have a decision uh, box that is read state so on reading you can read a b or blank depending upon the input tape symbols and if you want to add something onto the queue we are going to use add and then the symbol name so these are the basic uh, symbols that we use by designing the post machine so let us construct a post machine that recognizes the uh, context free language l is equal L is equals to a raised to n, b raised to n, where n is greater than or equal to zero. That means number of symbols, number of a's should be exactly equal to number of b's, but all a's should be together. And after that, we are going to have all b's. So we can have our language as epsilon, a b, double a, double b, and once we receive an a, uh, double b. After that, if we try to receive this a, this is an invalid string. so this is how the language is so the input will be saved in this form on the tape a a a a b b b b the and then hash hash indicates that is the end of the string and after this what we are going to have on the tape is blanks right so uh, let us see how we will be solving this problem so over here we have four times a and four times b if we give the numbering this is 1 2 3 fourth number 1 2 3 4 number so what we will be doing is in our algorithm this first a when we read we are going to skip this a right and we will copy paste all the remaining a's after this hash then when we read first b we are going to skip this b and we are going to copy paste all the remaining b's after this hash right then we are going to have this hash we are going to copy paste this hash also right so what we are going to do is read the symbol a skip it and read the next symbol now read the symbol if it is a add a into the queue so when you write, write when you call add a at that time this a will be added at the end after hash onto the tape then we will move and read the next symbol this is a again this a will be added into the queue when move to the next symbol we are receiving an a so this a will be added back in the queue now when we receive first b 
at that time we are going to skip this b and move re and read the next symbol so we are reading this b now this b we are going to add into the q next we are going to go and read the next symbol what we read is b read this b and add it into the q next we are going to read next b we are going to copy paste this b over here at the end that is add b we are doing right so after this when we read this hash this hash also will be copy paste as add it into the q so what we have done is initially we were having four a's and four b's and then hash and now we have three a's and three b's with hash so what we have done we have skipped one a and one b so again now we have three a's and three b's we will be applying the same algorithm iteratively till the time uh, we are not reaching to the final state right so now we have three a's and three b's so again we will apply the same logic first a we are going to skip so when we read an a after hash now we are again starting the loop so when we read first a we are going to skip this a and read the next symbol so when we read the next symbol over here we find that uh, a is there so we will copy paste this this a then we will read the next symbol it is a we will add it into the queue then we will read the next symbol it is b so we are going to skip this b then move right read the next symbol the symbol is b add it into the queue move right read the next symbol b add it into the queue next read the next symbol it is hash add it into the queue so now the second loop is over and now you see the number of uh, a's are only two and number of b's are also two we will apply the same algorithm again skip read the first a skip it and after that whatever number of a's are there we will be adding them into the q when you receive b skip that b and after that whatever number of b's are there we are going to add it into the q so we are going to read the first a skip this a read the next symbol if it is a add it into the q next read the next symbol this is b we are going to add uh, skip this b and read the next symbol now this is b we are going to copy paste this b that is add this b into the q and then move ahead read the next symbol so next symbol is hash we are going to write this hash also into the q so now the second loop is now the next loop is over so now we have a b and hash we will be applying the same algorithm again read the first symbol if it is a skip it go read the next symbol that is b skip it and read the next symbol that is hash so we are going to write hash now when we after reading hash now the next loop is starting over here we are getting hash only that means what string has ended and now the string is a valid string and we will end this uh, so loop and we will say the string is a valid string so let us see the solution of this we are going to start we are going to read this read is for reading the first a right when we read this first a we are going to skip this a that means we are not going to add any symbol into the stack so this sorry q so this a we are not going to do anything whatever number of reads that we are going to we are going to perform after this read first read a all the a should be added in onto the q so we are reading a add this a into the q so this loop will continue once we receive first b we are going to skip that b so we are not adding that a b into the q and again we are going to start with the next read operation read and this reading if we get b that means add b onto the q so we are continuing this loop for adding all the b's now we have read first a then b we have read and now after this when you are reading for, uh, added all the b's and then if after that you get a hash this add, hash also has to be added onto the q so add hash right now when you are in the last step that means at this step what we are supposed to do or in fact after reading this hash we have added this hash into the loop and then again iteratively we want to perform the same operation read uh, perform for read read a if it is first a you have read after that whatever number of a's are there you are going to add it into the queue read the first b and skip it after that whatever number of b's you are adding reading you are going to add it into the queue so this thing will continue
now when you are uh, after adding hash that means at this stage after adding hash you are receiving one more hash so in that case over here you will be getting the hash so what we are supposed to do accept the string now uh, correct uh, strings are valid strings have been accepted over here let's talk about the rejection state also fine so when you are performing this read this is for reading skipping uh, reading the first a or the last hash now over here if we receive b when are we going to receive b when number of b's are more and now then number of a's in that case only we are going to receive b over here so in that case the string should be rejected over here if we talk about read this read is for adding the remaining a's after skipping first a onto the queue so at that time a ho gaya b ho gaya what about blank what if i get a blank if we get blank over here that means we are not receiving b and directly we have received a hash so in that case also we should reject the string next read when are we going to reach to this read when we have received when we have started receiving b's once you start receiving b's you are not supposed to receive a and over here if you receive an a that means the string is an invalid string so if you receive a over here the string should be rejected so this is how the post uh, machine works if you have understood the um, like, uh, algorithm of this how exactly this works then the concept will be absolutely clear to you just remember on to the tape you are going to add the symbols which you will be tracing in the next iteration right